a good morning and good evening welcome to the chanting session where we aspire to chant till we become the chant so we have already begin with the om mantra so we will be continuing with that for some time just a reminder that we don't have to follow this exactly as it is this is just in the background we can choose to chant faster slower any way we resonate with this is just to you know help us be in gathered and not to get lost in different threads of our stories so mother says om is the signature of the god so we are invoking god's presence as we chant om and let's do that with that sincerity and love and the, i mean recognizing the power that it has
when we become present to the vibrations that this chant creates in us somehow we can feel its power more deeply so just spending one last minute with this chant and to give it more attention to be more present while chanting it and to see how it re- you know how it vibrates in our being so let's do that after invoking the divine presence we will now chant the maha mrityunjay mantra for the next 8 to 9 minutes and we know its significance it's for good health and it's a prayer that may i be able to you know do what i am here to do may this life be fulfilling in the way it's supposed to be fulfilled and that you know just like a cucumber is freed from the creepers with the help of the gardener so it's a prayer that may you free me from these you know the cycles of life and death and help me touch the immort- immortality that is within me so i'll just share that i am i assume you can hear it and as you let me know
So that was the Maha Mrityunjaya Mantra. And we'll end today's session with Sri Aurobindo's Gayatri Mantra. And I'll be sharing the screen on that. And before we take that, there's this beautiful line, these beautiful lines from Sabitri that were mentioned in the video. This is book four, the book of birth and quest, Canto three, the call to the quest, lines 220 to 238. I'll just read them. As when the mantra sings in yoga's ear, its message enters, stirring the blind brain and keeps in the dim ignorant cells its sound. The hearer understands a form of words and musing on the index thought it holds. He strives to read it with the laboring mind, but finds bright hints, not the embodied truth. Then, falling silent in himself to know, he meets the deeper listening of his soul. The word repeats itself in rhythmic strains, Thought, vision, feeling, sense, the body's self are seized unutterably and he endures an ecstasy and an immortal change. He feels a whiteness and becomes a power. All knowledge rushes on him like a sea, transmuted by the white spiritual ray, he walks in naked heavens of joy and calm, sees the God face and hears transcendent speech, an equal greatness in her life was soon. So this was talking about the mantra when you hear it. So I will be now putting on the, the audio and video of Sri Aurobindo's Gayatri Mantra. So this is what we will be chanting now.
ज्योति पर धीमह यन्न सत्य दीपे तत्सुर्भर रूप 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 ज्योति पर धीमह सत्य दीपे तत्सुर्भर रूप ज्योति पर धीमह सत्य दीपे तत्सुर्भर रूप ज्योति पर धीमह यन्न सत्य दीपे ओ तत्सुर्भर रूप ज्योति पर धीमह यन्न सत्य दीपे तत्सुर्भर रूप ज्योति पर धीमह य 
So that was Sri Aurobindo's Gayatri Mantra. So if any of us would like to unmute and chant anything they would want to chant for all of us, any mantra, any line, any prayer before we end the session, they are welcome to do that and then we'll end. Brahmarapanam Brambohavid Brahmagano Brampano Hutam Brahmaibo Tena Ganta Bam Brahmo Karmo Shamadhina O Thank you. It was beautiful and I've never heard this chant before. So if you could later on share it on the group if it's possible, that would be nice. Thank you. So we can end the session here. Thanking Divine and its limitless grace for all the blessings in our lives. Praying for peace, love, and progress for everybody, for all sentient beings. Thank you.